So Twitter started sharing ad revenue. Have a look, $2,200, 9.5 thousand, all the way up to $24,000. But there is a catch. It is only with verified creators. So we need to get there. We need to become verified creators. And I'm going to tell you what needs to be done. And of course, I'm going to show you the steps and some tricks. Firstly, of course, create yourself an account. Everybody knows that. Then the first requirement is going to be that you have to be 18 years of age. The next one, a bit harder. You have to have 500 followers on your profile. And unfortunately, you got to pay for it. You have to subscribe to X Premium. But if you head over to check, for example, in the United States, if you go through your browser, you will just have to pay $8 per month only. Trust me, you will make much more. But there is one more thing that a lot of people get scared with, and it is this one. You got to have 5 million organic impressions during the last three months. Now, I know that it sounds too much. I know that it sounds a lot, but don't be afraid of it. A lot of people have made it, and so you can do it as well. First of all, you have all of this information on the website and some more. For example, the payment methods that you can use. So I suggest that you read that. But I just wanted to remember you one thing. If you head over to YouTube and you take a look at these requirements, you have to have 4,000 valid public watch hours and that's just too much, all right? So these 5 million in the last three months and that's only the impressions, well, it's easy and you know why? As you can see, one person tweeted, the more haters you have in your replies, well, the more money you will make on Twitter. So my suggestion, go and make enemies. It's way easy. Musk even replied to that, saying poetic justice. So let's grab that money. Here are some tips and tricks for you to start right away. So when you'll tweet from time to time, people will stop by your profile. And if your profile is like bland and uninteresting, people won't scroll down to read your tweets and they just won't engage with you, right? And of course, they won't eventually follow you and bring you those impressions that we desperately need, right? So the first thing that we have to look out for is how to optimize the profile, how to curate it. Now, the two things that stand out on the account, it's going to be the profile picture and its name, all right? For the name, you want something simple, you know, like an Elias or something, or just your full name like this guy is doing. You just don't want to make it too complicated. Just don't make something that people will forget about. For the profile picture, you want something that stands out. For example, have a look at this guy. It's just your picture with like some bright background. But if you are in the art or crypto niche, you can just get something like NFT, something that is well known inside of your niche. We're going to talk about niches later on. The point is you have to stand out. Now, the next thing that people overlook is this, okay, the banners. Now, the banner has to be really properly made because people will see that first and people can just scan the text really, really fast nowadays. Believe this or not, but when a human that's literate can actually see the text, his brain automatically reads it. So we're fast. So if you have some keywords that are tied to your niche to you, well, people will automatically start reading those and they will know what you're about. So they're going to see if they're interested or not. All right. So next on, another thing that people tend to forget is the pinned tweet. Because yes, on Twitter, you can actually pin a tweet and that's going to be the first thing that people see on your profile. This is the first thing that people are ever going to see on your profile. And it has to be an engaging tweet, okay? It can raise a question or maybe a threat of action that people can take part in. Basically, what you want is when people come in your profile and they see that first pinned tweet, you want people to think like this. Okay, this is an interesting content. Maybe I will scroll down to see more. That's the whole point. Because, you know, as the way social interactions work, once people start consuming your content and they just keep doing that over time, even if it's a short period of time, even if they don't necessarily like the content, but they still consume it, well, they will create an attachment to you. And that's when they will actually decide to go ahead and follow you. Okay, enough about the profile. I think you got the picture. Now it's the time to talk about how do you get the money on Twitter? Well, it's just the old ad revenue share, as we've talked at the beginning of this video. Twitter is a social media company, like all of these other ones, and they make the bulk of their income through placing ads on their platform. This means that advertising companies such as, I don't know, Coca-Cola, Nike will just actually pay the money to the platform to place their content in front of their relevant content. All right. So you have to be in a certain niche. 
So if you talk about, I don't know, finance, cryptocurrency, passive income, like some of my friends do on their channels, well, they will actually serve the ads under those tweets about, I don't know, banks, financial services, basically anything related to your niche. And the way that you get paid is basically through the amount of impressions that you get during the month. And basically, the more impressions you get, well, the more ads they're able to serve under those tweets and the more is your cut of that revenue. So maybe you're just telling, okay, you're telling me that followers don't matter at all. It's all about impressions. Well, yes, but no. The more followers you have, well, the more impressions you are going to get. And the more impressions you'll get, the more followers you will get as well. So those two go hand in hand. All right. But what about this big problem? First of all, don't look at it as a problem, all right? If you think of it as a problem, your brain will just like go inside of you and you will be close to just get new information, all right? That's with everything in life. Be in the moment and go and solve the things that needed to be solved. So the first trick from me to you is be a reply guy. A reply guy is someone that will go on bigger accounts, bigger tweets and answer something funny, smart or something that can create a conversation. And that will help you to get your first couple thousand impressions. Now, if you keep doing this over and over again, you will get a lot of impressions on those tweets on those replies of yours but actually you just want to switch move over all of those impressions to your own content right but now you don't want to be this you know you don't want to be and go and reply necessarily to every single big account on the platform you actually want to be in your niche all right but okay what's a niche in simple terms, niche is a subject or just one basket of similar subjects, for example, gaming, you know, or maybe cryptocurrency and finance and passive income. But of course, if you are into gaming, let's say you can niche down to, for example, Minecraft, Apex, League of Legends or whatever. If you are into finance niche, you can just niche down to cryptocurrency or just passive income or just affiliate marketing, you know, all of those things. If you're into cars, well, let's say that's a big niche. Well, German cars is a niche down version. Old vintage cars is a niche down version. So I think you got a point. At the end of the day, the more detailed value you actually provide to people reading your tweets, the more they will like to stay, to follow you, to repost, retweet, reply, and all of those things. But now here's another one for you. Tip number two. You want to be early on posts, all right? That's maybe the most important information for you. You want to be early if you want to be a reply guy because the more early you just go, well, people will just see your content first, your reply, whether it is funny, smart, or whatnot. So my suggestion would actually be if you want to be in your niche, you know, you just follow these big guys which are in your niche and you can see this button which is called notify. It's like bell notification. And whenever this person has made this tweet, in this case, Elon Musk, well, you are going to be the first one to see that. And if you're there, just take your phone and just reply to the comment. All right. Just reply to a tweet with something funny. Just think of something or just make some relevant comment to that. And of course, people will go and and they will just see your comment first and they will just post a reply. And that's how will you just gain some traction, all right? You will gain a lot of people who are going to see that. And of course, they're going to be interested in your account as well. Now, there is another thing that you can do, and these are the lists here. So you can just make yourself a list with all of these different things. And of course, you will subscribe and notify yourself on all of these lists where you can just add as many as of these big accounts you want. And they will, of course, serve you to just notify you to be one of the first people to reply there. Now, it is very fast, you know. In under two minutes, there can be like, I don't know, 20, 30 replies based on how big account is. But you have to do that. You know, for example, if you are on the toilet, what are you doing? You know, you scroll Instagram, Facebook, whatever. You can just make a couple of tweets. You can just make a few replies for yourself. So it'll actually all come down to you. All right. The more time and effort you just input into this, well, the more ad revenue is going to come to you at the end. Or you can just do this for, I don't know, two years and just get no income at all. It's all going to depend on you. Now, there is also one thing that is really, really good. And these are the threads, you know. So Twitter threads is a thing that is really good for gaining traction because that's going to be like under these like comments. This is just going to take a lot of action from people. 
and it's not really hard to make. You have a lot of tutorials on Twitter on how to create a thread and what does it actually mean. Basically, it's just one tweet, but then it goes down and down. So for example, if you just make something, I don't know, like a recipe book, this is just an example, but like a recipe book and there is one meal and then you just paste the title there and what are you gonna make? And then in the each thread down there, you are just step by step given the recipe actions. So firstly, I don't know, boil the water. Then the next one is like, put the eggs in, you know? So it's just gonna be the thread that people, they can just take part in that action and follow that tweet for a long time. This is really good for gaining impressions and this is really good for just skyrocketing your ad revenue this way. Now, you of course have a lot of different things, a lot of different strategies on this Twitter. I'm just liking this reply thing and that's actually the way that I've got a lot of impressions in the last three months. But as I've told you, it's all gonna depend on you. All these people have been a regular posters. Some of them got really lucky, as you can see, but if they did it, you can do it as well. It's open for everyone. So just take part in it and be dedicated. All right, open yourself up, consume all of this information, and then just work hard at it. All right, you have to work hard. It's not like a get rich quick scheme and not everyone will succeed. Only the hard working ones, dedicated and passion ones will succeed in this but it was never possible before, right? Twitter opened its doors, so it's up to us to work on it. So I wish you good luck, work hard, and I'll catch you.